What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to sync text with a beat in Premiere Pro. So the video you saw at the start, this is the project of it right now. And you can see it's pretty simple. Now I'm going to be using the exact same piece of music and I will be using this part again so I'm going to hold alt and just paste this across. So first thing you need to do, get your text tool and just type out some text. So I've done how to sync text with the beat in Premiere Pro, the same one you saw at the start. I'm going to highlight this and I want it centered and I'm going to bring up the size. So we have our text and we have our music. So something important to note here, uh, making it easy to sync up. As I come across my timeline, you can see um, the hit, or I think it's a snare, you can see it is symbolized in the audio visuals here. So I know there's going to be a hit there. There's going to be a hit right there, there, there's two there, and that's what makes things a lot more simple. So make sure you pick a good beat, it will make things a lot easier for you. So let's get started. Select your text layer here, come up to effect controls, and from there you're going to select create four point polygon mask. Now this is what will happen, completely fine. What we are going to do is drag this to the first word, and then we're going to drag it off to the side. Now it's important you do that and we are also going to be selecting toggle animation on the mask path. Now what we're going to do is come across in our timeline until we hear that snare which is right there. We're then going to go back one keyframe. So select this button here and then press this button to lay down a keyframe. It's going to be the exact frame we just had. Come back a frame forward again where you hear that snare. And then we're going to select the mask path, we're going to come up to it here, and now we are going to drag it over the first word. First word of course is how, and there we go, fits perfect. We're then going to come across to the next snare, right there. We're going to go back one frame. We're going to lay down another keyframe, so this time it's just on how. We're then going to come across one keyframe, and we're going to select the mask path again, and we are now going to be expanding this out. So what we're going to be doing is dragging it from the corners like so. Now I only want up to two, so there we go. First two words complete. And this is all you do. So the next word is going to be text or sync, I think. So right there is the next snare. We're going to go back one frame. We're going to lay down a keyframe. We're going to go forward another frame. And we're going to select the masking and we're going to drag it out even more. And this is how simple it is. Uh, once you get the gist of it, it's gonna go, you're gonna fly through it. So, so I will actually finish this off for you. So we've just done this one right here, and then immediately after, there's a snare. So there's one here, and then there's one a few frames right after as well. So right here, um, again. We're going to go back one frame, lay down a keyframe, go forward one frame, select the mask, and this time it gets a little bit more complicated because the text is down here. We can't just drag it down because you'll see the other text is there. So this is what we do. We double click here and we drag this down. We double click here and we drag this across. We double click here and we drag this there. And that's what we create. Looks a bit of a mess, but that's how it works. So I'll play it through. Just like that. Now the next snare is right here. So same steps again. We're going to go back one frame. We're going to lay down a keyframe. We're going to go forward one frame. Select the mask. And as you'll see, this time it's like this. It's pretty simple. This frame or this uh, point up here, we can just drag it out like that. We're almost done. And then the next snare is right here. Back one frame, lay down a keyframe, forward one frame, select the mask and I'm going to select this all down. So now everything is going to be shown. And then of course there's one more snare right there and that's where I'm going to take off the text like that. So this is how it will look. Just like that, pretty simple. That is how you can sync a beat with a or how you can sync text with a beat in Premiere Pro. You can see that's the one I just created over here on the right for the tutorial. And this is the one you saw in the intro. 
just so you know I didn't uh, copy it over. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it's been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.